but luckily I've managed to bag swim one. That's well, luckily I've managed to bag swim three. Matt is on swim four. Pat's is directly opposite me. And the four opposite corner. And then Scudder's up the top end. Opposite me, on the same side as me. And that's your view. Amazing. I've even put a little bench here with a brolly if you need it. Downstairs to the front of the swim. You will not be disappointed, I'm telling you now. Uh, supplies with a little barbecue. Supply of all your net, retainer, unhooking mat, bucket for the water. And as you can see, we've got the free rod set up there. So, Louis, that's Scudder, that's Patsy, and then Matt is right over that way. So got nice, nice area. This, this is the double swim, by the way. As you can see, almost like a chalet type, you know. Nice. Look at that side table there. It is bait boats only here as well, so it's no casting. But hey, it saves Matt going in the trees, doesn't it? Let's have a look inside. So, there's my bed, heater, little table, there's a power pack there as well, like USB power pack. There's the other, where the other bed can go, but I've just got my kit there. TV, strip lights, there's lights underneath the table here on each bed. Good. Taking the boat around, deeper on it, straight out in front of me, I found a big shelf, so I've got two rods out that way, and I've got one in the margins on my left hand side, but there's like a barley bow or straw bow in the water, and that's on the little bag, we'll keep you posted. Folks, join us in the second day, or the start of the second day. Nothing for me through the night last night, at all. One or two knocks, and that was about it. Not sure on James or Patsy. I think James might have had another little one out. Um, but the big news is, Matt caught one. Lovely looking mirror. I don't have much footage, but I've got a little bit, and that's coming up now. He's only gone and bagged himself a fish. mirror I think it was just over 16 pound I think it was so he didn't break his PB unfortunately because I didn't really want to have to chuck a bucket of water over him pretty much more the same as what we done yesterday boat full of pellet and boiling with my rigs in go to the spots which I found yesterday and drop them in there I'm gonna give it another hour for the morning to die down so if nothing happens then I'll redo it. Maybe speak to you later.
Yeah, go for it. This is what happens when you are unkind to your friend. Shit. <laughs> 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 oh, mate, really? We've got Formula One. We're fishing. <laughs> Somebody pinch me. So, rods are reset for the night now. Um, slight change of plan. I've put one in my left hand margin, just down in between myself and Patrick. Uh, got one out on the barley bow where I've lost a fish and caught an absolute monster of about four pounds. Um, and the right rod now is what was my middle rod. So, fingers crossed for the night. Well, another day is drawing to an end. It's now 10 to 8. Nothing happened through the day at all. But on the plus side, the lake did supply us with pie and mash. So it can't grumble. Good morning. In the last 24 hours now, still nothing for me last night. Matt had one last night, Scud had one last night, and I believe Pat's even lost one last night. It's all riding on this now, the last 24 hours. I've gone away from the pop-ups, and I've gone on to a pellet. But before I put these three back out, I'm going to say hello to the boys, shall we? Come on now. So later than the first one, so got a bit more sleep, but it did tear off left hand rod, robbing red pellet, and it just tore straight off and out. Um, played it for about five or six minutes, and then it went in a snake, just down in these lily pads, it come all the way across. But yes, it's about five minutes to get it in, about five or six minutes to unlock it. <laughs> it did slap me up a bit, as you'll, you'll see in the video. Um, <laughs> But it was nice, it was an angry cup, all its fins up and everything. It you know, was Pat, proper. Pat was saying that, like he said he heard it. It's not, not quite as big as we want, it was, was it 15, 13. 13 right? So, it's so not bad weight sort of thing, but there's obviously bigger in it. I mean, when it tore off, it, it just carried on going and going and going. So I knew it was a, a slightly smaller fish because yeah. it just carried on its way, but um, a quiet night except for that couple of knocks on the other two rods keep getting a knock on the middle rod but this one on the hair rig as well so you know kept everything simple with me there's less to go wrong than in theory well yeah exactly. <laughs> not enough knots but um gonna show me landing it <laughs> and then it's gonna go eight hours later and then i lift it up and then <laughs> Honestly, it had about three showers in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> and had to taxi its car again. But, uh... <laughs> oh go around the other side of the lake. We'll go and say hello to the other boys. And then we'll get the three rods back out. And then I'll join them fishing again. Happy days. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> He's got, he got another soaking coming. <laughs> well done, Matt. Showing us all how it's done, mate. Walking around now. We go past our swim. Up the little pathway. And the bay on the other side. And we go and see the other boys. I was 
walking around and I've just had scudders quite a long time enough. False alarm. What happened? Well, obviously, I was in that swim. It ran, but there was nothing on. Oh, I'm worn out. Oh, done me in then. <laughs> what if we had a done take on camera? Done me in. <laughs> Look at that. That's someone's line, isn't it? Or is that my line? That's not yours, I mean, just twist it up. How the f <laughs> oh, we do it out after breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> here comes, here comes the pet sealer as well. Hi guys! <laughs> like they're nimble little fingers that. Like. They've been in some crevices. Let's <laughs> 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 open the YouTube channel, is it? <laughs> Might do edit that out. <laughs> How do you put your boat out? Do you put the bail on right off? I'll take the bag on that off. Because I just have it on like the drag. No, that's, that's why you're getting all the twist. Do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. That's how I've always done it. Yeah, no, you're, you're twisting lines. Look at this! 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 Look at had it nice there. Cut the beeps, one time ripper. Playing it mid water. And then all of a sudden it just started for them reeds over there and I couldn't stop it. Unfortunately. Right. Oh yeah, we've got evidence. <laughs> we, we, we have the, the offending article. Oh wow. It's um, actually, Rob, I think that it's taller than you. Oh yeah. And that's the offending article that caused all the <laughs> problems. Sorry for swearing on the YouTube channel. I can believe it. <laughs> it's just me and you need to get one on the bank, mate. I wouldn't mind just failing one for a minute, to be honest. I think your problem is your rods ain't in the water. You bought rods? <laughs> <laughs> Three hours now. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. You never know. We we'll wait till the last minute. Oh, the result from that result for Scudder. That's for me and Patsy. Another day might have been a different story. Remember, click that subscribe button, leave in comments. Maybe I'll see you in the bank sometime. Till then, see you later. Bye.